Hello everyone, in this video we are going to use OAS Zap tool and we'll con conduct a brute force attack. So let's open up the tool. Okay, the interface will look something like this. We're gonna select the number third option now. So here we're gonna click on manual explore. We'll select this and here let's open up any testing website we want. Let's select test fire. So we're gonna copy paste this login page here. And we'll click on launch browser. Okay, now we're gonna enter our username and password. Okay, let's do one thing. Let's okay, let's enter admin for username and password for password. And we'll click on login button. Okay, this login has been failed. So let's go back to history and here we're gonna select our latest request and we'll click on this request section. So here you can see the request that we have entered. We have entered user admin for username and password for password. So we'll select this and we'll right click and we'll click on the first. So now We'll uh, remove this now. We're gonna select only the keyword admin. Click on add, and here we're gonna add some strings like admin, admin one to three, password, test, test one to three, and all these sort of things. So we'll click on add. Click on OK. Now we're gonna select the password and again click on Add. We'll paste all these keywords again. Okay. Now we'll click on Add. Okay, so after this, we'll click on start fuzzer and we'll see whether we could able to crack the username and password or not. It will gonna use all the combination of username and password and it'll check whether which combination is right. So here you can see for admin admin, the response header size is 277 bytes. For all other combinations showing as 126 bytes. So admin admin could be the password. Let's go to that website and we'll check whether our password is admin, username and password is admin. And admin. So we'll click on this login button. Okay, it has given us access. That means our username and password is admin and admin. This is how we can able to conduct a brute force attack using OSR. That's it from this video. Thank you so much.